Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Vikas and I am here to talk about how to create a data map and running a road test in Power Exchange Navigator. The agenda is to create a data map and running a road test. Open Power Exchange Navigator. On the data map folder, right click, click add data map. Enter the schema name, enter the data map name, click on the drop down under access method. Data map can be created for non relational sources such as IMS database, VZAM files, sequential datasets, and flat files. I am selecting sequential. Click next. Enter a file name with a path where it is located locally. In case of mainframe file, we need to specify the file name only. Click on view file to view the contents. Select a node where listener is running. For mainframes, we need to enter user ID and password and corresponding listener node. Okay. Here we can view the data. Click finish. We will get a new pop up to fill the copybook details. Source type is COBOL. Based on the copybook, we need to set the column range. Click on next. Specify the copybook path. Preview. We can see the copybook. Click on finish. We will be able to see the COBOL import. Click on start import. Left bottom we can see the copybook message log which tells the import was successful. Close the COBOL import screen. Click on the norm rec. Now we will do a road test. Before performing a road test, we need to send the data map to the listener. We will try performing a road test without sending it to the listener. A pop-up message will be displayed stating data map must be sent to remote location. Do you want to do this? Yes. As stated earlier, select the node, click OK. We can see the data map has reached the listener. Will disconnect from the listener. For all non relational sources, the DB type should be NRDB and click on Go. It is telling it is not connected to listener. Click OK. Again connect to listener.
now listener is up and running now click on go the data is displayed with this we come to end of this video we would love to hear from you you can reach us on support videos at the rate infomedica.com or twitter.com slash infosupport thank you